Most of us don't often think about the time we have left to live until time starts running out. Once you get that timer down to the very end, then all of a sudden it's on its own. You don't know where the hell it's going, when it's going to go off or anything. Robert Mitten has a deteriorating heart. He was given six months to live last January at 59 years old. The avid skier. It may look like I'm not wearing a shirt, but I got the sweater on. They'll keep me warm. The Florida Gators fanatic. Where the Gators hired Urban Meyer, and I was starting to look for a cat, so I said, well, my next cat's name is Meyer. Says he doesn't have too many regrets. Had a crazy three-week marriage. <laughs> and he doesn't want to regret the end. And I don't want to go through the very last throes of um, swelling up and drowning in my own blood. In Colorado, Robert doesn't have the ability to get life-ending prescription drugs. Instead, he plans to suffocate himself with helium before his heart fails. It's a peaceful way of going. Compassion and Choices is an advocacy group promoting end-of-life options. People end up living a lot longer than doctors originally projected because there's no longer that anxiety and that fear of what's going to happen at the end of life. They say an organ style death with dignity bill could be introduced in Colorado this upcoming legislative session. In 2013, there were seven states that introduced death with dignity type bills. The only one that passed was the Vermont law, but we see this as a, a regular occurrence now. Not everyone agrees these laws are a good idea, including the Catholic Church, which teaches that life is sacred from conception to natural death. When you say death with dignity, we're all for that. Dr. Alan Rastrelli is a Catholic deacon who specializes in end-of-life care. He says the last days should be spent with friends and family, and that many people get closure in those final days. Whatever days of life you have, we honor that as your body naturally begins to slow down and shut down. He insists that taking life-ending medication is suicide, an idea right to die advocates oppose. You're doing it with an intention of trying to relieve the suffering. But you don't release suffering by ending the sufferer. In recent months, this sufferer distanced himself from the outside world, scared of hurting those he will leave behind. Friends, family, my cat. The end is likely very near for Robert, who will take matters into his own hands. My cat, remember? Before his natural lifetime, runs out. There's a time when you need to turn off the switch and that's the change that we need to make. Yes.